we go to the east, we find the eight immortals of Taoism. On the crowning point of the eight immortals is the crown jewel. From the lotus springs up the psilocybin mushroom. You can see it crowned with a ruby gem on top. Again, one of the eight immortals. Again, the pearl of wisdom coming up from the crown, the psilocybin mushroom. The potion of immortality that they were so often talking about. Also in the east, Buddha. Buddha reached enlightenment while sitting underneath the Bodhi tree. Is it a coincidence that these Bodhi trees look so much like golden mushrooms that they even have the ring around, the, uh, around their, their stalk, the analyst? Does that look like a tree to you? No, it looks like a golden mushroom. That's the Bodhi tree, Bodhi tree under which Buddha reached enlightenment. These are various forms of psilocybin mushrooms. There are 184 species of psilocybin mushrooms known. And there are more being discovered every year. With 184 species scattered throughout the globe so that everybody had access to it, we can no longer say with any confidence whatsoever, in fact we have certainty, that psilocybin mushrooms are not a new world phenomenon. In fact, psilocybin cubinesis, psilo meaning bald head, as in the Jesuits' bald head, and cubinesis meaning Cuba, where it was discovered, are basically said by the Jesuit priests to have grown in Spain. When they found them, they said, this mushroom grew in Spain. And the Indians said, that's St. Isildro, the, mu the divine mushroom of manure. That's the white man's mushroom. In other words, they all claim that that mushroom was never on their shore before we and our cattle arrived. Here we have a 6,000 year old Algerian rock painting and this was brought to our attention by Terence McKenna as well as the one next to it. Uh, I've also found these in southern Africa and you can see the psilocybin mushrooms popping off of the beheaded shaman. Mushrooms and honey mix well. If you make mushroom tea, put honey in it and it will taste delightful. Here we have the Greeks and they're holding up the mushrooms, probably tying into the Eleusinian Mysteries uh, where they were given the Kikion potion. Here we have more Buddhist Bodhi trees from the east. So we have all these religions but we have one root for them. One catalyst which pushed so many of them forward. Here we have Jesus on the cross and the disciples who are coming to see him there are not looking at him but they're looking at these funny mushroom trees. If they were just trees why would they be staring at the trees and not at their Lord? Do you think that the trees would be that important? No, those are mushrooms. Now, just to show you how people have always kind of kept these things a secret, and Jesus talks about it too, he says, you know, these have, this has been kept secret from the beginning of time, but now I come to reveal it to you. I am the tree of life. So here we have an entire temple. This is in Burma, the golden triangle. And if you look at this temple, it's made up of thousands, well, at least dozens, of upside-down poppy capsules. Those are opium-producing poppy capsules that are uh, so important to this religious uh, framework that they actually incorporated them right into the temple. So the Tree of Life, so Simon. And here we have the Tree of Knowledge of Good and Evil where we basically fell off of the apple cart. Okay, the golden apple and the uh, the red apple of temptation. This has been brought to you by the Center for Enlightenment, a presentation which was uh, produced through the assistance of the Heart and Soul Foundation and Metholomew. God bless you all and take good care.